Hello, my name is Waldo and welcome back to Sunless Sea. I can't believe it's been this long since I've played this game, because this game is amazing! God, how do I not play this game more? I, I don't even believe it myself. Anyway, since the last time we played uh, Sunless Sea, which was the start of November, a lot has happened to us on the sea. There was a new update, uh, the Sapphire update, that uh, introduced a ton of new stuff, like uh, allied ships or neutral ships that uh, sail the sea just like you do. There's more islands to discover and lots more good stuff that I can't wait to discover. So, I'm just gonna press continue and see what happens. We might lose our save. Our save might be slightly bugged, but I hope it's not, actually, because that would be really sucky. Because we're doing quite well, if I remember correctly. Uh, I did watch my own uh, footage for a second to remind myself of what I was actually doing, and I do believe that I was getting some information from a certain town that I hasn't, hadn't visited yet, or... and it had some soup. Alright, I think there, there might be a bit of an overlap with the last episode, but that's not, that's not too bad. Uh, that's good to actually refresh our memories. So we're in Fallen London, which is deep, dark and marvelous. All voyages, or all voyage start here. All voyage start here. And this is where successful voyages also end. Yes, indeed. Or, well, it's if it's a voyage to somewhere else, and you don't plan on returning, like if you're eloping with your mistress, then probably it's not a successful voyage and if you end up back in London. Anyway, <laughs> going off on tangents already. Uh, I delivered my souls uh, in the last episode of the previous play session. What a prop... prop... Uh, what a... this word. An encouraging occasion this is to meet again here in this place, which has been so very fortunate to us both. Uh, so yeah, 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 he is very friendly, and uh, he wants to uh, give me a payment, and I will gladly accept that. Thank you. I need to cover my costs. I had, I had some terrible uh, expenses on the way. Uh, some uh, some rum kind of fell onto my deck and into my mouth. It was it was terrible. I had to pay for it all. I would take the good worth. Oh, to my patron, if I'm a man of my word, we will see each other again. I was paid 200 echoes. And in the last video I said that's enough to buy two more uh, skins of Zoop, which I need for the, for the Merchant Venturer. So I will have to go back to Mount Palmerston, the island with the volcano in it, to go and collect those. Anyway, there's a little quest here. Uh, taking a payment across the ocean and bringing back a little package. Of course, if you turn to London without the package, I will probably have something sharp to say about it. So this kind of kind of puts us under pressure because we can't return to London without obtaining the package. And I was slightly uh, daunted by this at first, but if you click on accept, then uh... ah balls! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. It's random, of course. Last time, uh, we had to go to, to Gator's Morn. In Gator's Morn, we know where that is on the map. It's not far from Fallen London. But now we have to go to Khan's Heart in the Salt Steps, which is bleeding far away, because it's not even on our map yet. Uh, okay, so, yeah, okay. Well, well, we'll, deal, we'll deal with that. Never mind. Bring the package here. This is my hearty recommendation that you avoid the gentle attentions of the excise on, um, on account of if you return without a package, it is of no interest to my patron whether you have lost it or had it taken from you. Good luck, good luck. If you return to London without an unstamped crate of bottled soils before completing this task, there is a risk that the blind bruiser will take offense. So there is a risk. It's not definitive. There's a risk. So we could, like, play our cards here, no? No, oh, God. Okay. So. Right. Uh, no, no, never mind. Okay. Take it in stride. Take it in stride, Waldo. Let's go to the Dark Spectacled Admiral, which is 
or who is absolutely not dark spectacle. The only thing illuminated about his face is his eyes. Uh, Alright, I've got some strategic information that I have gained. I can't for the life of me remember where, but I've gained it. Uh, it was at... Uh, oof. I don't... Hmm. I don't actually know, it doesn't say. <laughs> it's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work! Take this for your trouble. The clerk, or the clock, will see you paid. Excellent. I've gained more Admiral's favor, new echoes, and I've lost the strategic information. God, I am bulking. I am bursting at the seams with echoes. My pockets are kind of dropping echoes left and right because they're so full I'm clinging and clanking as I walk down the street. I hope they have echoes in note form and not only coin form because otherwise it would be very impractical. Um, yeah. Uh, in Mount Palmerston, in the north of the Untersee, people sell zoop. I have five zoop, I need two more so I need to go back to Mount Palmerston. Alright. So that's refreshed our memory as well. Uh, let's go to my lodgings for a sec. What's that terror at? 50 probably. Yep. Because we just returned and we were scared to shit so now we have our terror reduced back to 50. But we don't have any nightmares increasage or nightmare power increasage so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna rest in a room to lose one terror. That's helping a lot. But I've had a restful night, which is good, because that battles my um, my anxiety of having nightmares. I need to take care of the inner person as well as the outer person, of course. I don't want to purchase an elegant townhouse, because then I won't have enough... Actually, I will have enough echoes for some zoop. Uh, but I think I'd rather return with the... Um, with the zoop and get paid for that and use that payment to uh, get this address or get this house. I think that's a more logical approach. Uh, I don't want to write a will or anything like that. Cool, but I can't. I can't read a newspaper. That's too bad. So I would like the the news actually. Back to the rest of the city. I uh, visit the university, but I don't have any secrets to uh, show to the university. Cruise in the wolf stack docks, which will reduce my terror. And I have pretty good odds. Ten echoes. Yeah, okay. A good night out. Sea shanties, good companionship, and the warmth of a pub fire. I've lost 30. 30? It said 10. God damn it. I've been wrestled. Anyway, uh, I've got. Ah! There is my recent news. I've lost 30 echoes, but that's fine. I've lost 5 terror as well. Ideal. Now, we will hire on some more crew. 3 crew to get it back up to 8. Lost some terror and 30 echoes once again. And I want some more crew. I want to go back up to 10. Your tall tales find a ready audience. Scarred and seasoned men and women tramp aboard and find places to sling hammocks. Once again, one terror is lost. Three crew gained. Three? Yeah, well. I only need two, but the third one's probably, I don't know, clinging, uh, <laughs> clinging on the stern or something. He's hiding on the, the roof of the bridge. Uh, I have full hull, so I don't need to put my ship in the dry dock. And, uh, oh yeah, this was changed. The, uh, the tomb colonists are no longer... Uh, willing to uh, set foot on your ship three at a time and be ferried to Vendabite for endless money. Uh, which does suck. So, uh, <laughs> that was nerfed. <laughs> that was like gonna be like my, if I ever made a tutorial, that was gonna be my one tip. Like, just get a ton of people to Vendabite from fallen London to make some initial starting money. Uh... Uh, do I have any recruits? Oh, I have, I have two. Engage an officer, the irrepressible cannoneer. So a gunnery officer or a first officer? And 
the gunnery officer increases iron, which is damage. And the sigil ridden navigator increases mirrors and veils. And mirrors is the quicker you can find a firing solution in combat. And veils is the speed at which enemies will spot you. So I think it's better to not actually be... Um, spotted than it is to have extra damage and fi and be able to fire faster, so I think we're gonna go for the sigil-ridden navigator. I let me guide my ship. I, I know all the Z, how it, how it was, how it will be. Please, I... the headaches only stop when I'm working. The navigator is a first officer who increases mirrors and veils. Thank you. Oh my god, the air, the air. It's clearer already. Let me chart a course for you. Oh, my head, my head. Sorry, that was a bit of voice acting. <laughs> right, uh, I'm bleeding echoes left and right, but they were falling out of my pockets anyway, so that's good. I'm not bothered at all. Uh, now I need to go to the shop and buy a metric ton of supplies. Buy for ten. Oh, this, this, I think this has changed as well. These, um, the layout of this. Anyway, uh, supplies. Make sure that we don't actually fill up the cargo bay to its fullest. Uh, 15 food, 16 fuel. I think that sounds reasonable. Flares may be... Oh, this is new. Flares may be used to, to reveal your enemies, increasing the speed of your firing solution. Uh, but we're planning on actually not getting spotted at all by, uh, by dudes. In, uh, out in the ocean, and if we are spotted, I hope they're neutral. So we're gonna we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass. I hope this may not come back to bite us in the ass, though. All right, we have the Samarkand, the light gear class steamer. Yeah, this has been redesigned as well. On deck, we have some guns. We've got engines on the bridge. We have nothing. <laughs> it's not even a steering wheel. Absolutely nothing. It's just barren. Uh. Right. The, we can't buy another ship because that these guys are absolutely fucking expensive as balls. And balls are extremely expensive, if you didn't know. So let's go. We are out and about. Oh shit! I think I paused the game. I pressed spacebar because that's. I do believe that that was the um, <laughs> the normal key for uh, launching, but apparently I was really wrong. Alright, there we go. Launch, it's E. Right, turn off our lights. And um, away we go. Oh, I, I accidentally uh, put out a Z-Bat. Sorry. This is a bit choppy. Not the waves, I mean uh, the, f the frame rate. I'm at a solid 30 FPS, but the, uh, the game doesn't look like it is. The <laughs> OBS is lagging my game. Anyway. Go we'll match, go we'll match, don't pay attention. This is a high quality video. Alright, anyway, actually, where do we uh, need to go? Uh, the salt lions are over here. I'm gonna guess... Uh, let's see here, Port... Ech? Yeah, Port Cecil. Uh, I think... I think... That for the, uh... The con... The con bit... And the package that we have to, uh... Definitely get... Before we turn, return to Fall London, I think that's here somewhere. I'm gonna guess it's here somewhere. So we're gonna go straight across through Gators Morn, through the salt lines, and into what is hopefully uh, the the Khan, the Khanids, in the center of the Sunless Sea. <laughs>